This is a Wirechnik roller swedging machine. If you have swedge fittings on your boat as opposed to mechanical fittings, you're going to have swedge fittings that are either done on a rotary swedge machine or on a roller swedge machine. The difference between the rotary is that it's a big giant machine that you would feed the wire through from the other side then you would put your terminal on to the end of the wire and then the wire the fitting would be worked this direction so that you would start smashing the metal here and you would work it this direction with a roller swedge machine it's just the opposite you insert the wire all the way to the end of the hole inside the swedge fitting and then the metal is worked in that direction so what what you end up with with a rotary swedge you'll see that in this piece that I cut out here you'll see the end of the wire is there and then there's approximately a 3 sixteenths quarter of an inch of hollow area because the metal is worked in this direction it's worked off of the end of the wire whereas with a roller swedge you'll see there's the end of the wire which is jammed right into the bottom of the hole and the the fitting is worked in that direction so it's growing onto the wire rather than growing off of the wire the way you can tell the difference between a swedge that's done on a rotary machine or on a roller swedge machine is if it's done on a roller you'll generally see lines or ridges See, like this one has got a nice ridge hopefully you can see that it runs longitudinally on the fitting ones that are done on a rotary swedge you usually won't see those lines because the machine goes around and around this thing smashing it in this direction as it goes around and so it doesn't leave longitudinal lines sometimes you'll see like little wavy marks on the fitting well, that that indicates that it was done on a rotary there's a I've never heard anybody that really knows whether one is better than the other, whether one is stronger than the other. My preference, obviously, is uh, the roller swedge, because that's what I have. And because I like the idea that it grows onto the wire rather than off of the wire. You see the difference. Now, just in case you're interested, you can see I polished the end of this, or I cut it off, so you can't really see the wire in there, but that's that is actually wire right there, the end of that fitting. It's called cold welding for a reason. It's you can't hardly tell the difference between uh, where the wire starts and the fitting stops. This is the process that we use when we swedge a fitting onto a piece of wire. First we mark the uh, wire at the end of the fitting and then we mark the fitting at the depth of the hole on the outside so we know where to start the die. And then what we do is we actually put a little bit of 5200 or something similar on the wire and fit it onto the, uh, fit the fitting onto the wire trying to work it around as much as possible. And what, uh, what that does is uh, fills up any of the little interstices left, although they're very small, almost microscopic, there are still some little little spaces left between the strands of wire and we're hoping that the uh, caulking will eliminate any air space where moisture can collect and corrosion can start. Now the first pass always leaves a ridge on the side of the fitting, so we run it through a second time at uh, 90 degrees on uh, 
most smaller fittings to knock that ridge down. It's not really necessary. It's more of an aesthetic thing. And, uh, and anything uh, over 7 16 to half inch, we don't uh, generally knock that ridge down. We do two passes in the same orientation uh, just to go a little bit easier on the machine. But on the smaller fittings, uh, like this quarter inch, we will uh, knock that ridge down to make the uh, fitting more round. Even though this video is about uh, swedge fittings, I do briefly want to mention mechanical fittings. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Staylocks or Norsemans and some of the various brands out there. There is a misconception that mechanical fittings are superior to swedge fittings, um, but like I said, that's a misconception. Swedge fittings actually achieve the full breaki breaking strength of the wire, whereas mechanical fittings usually fall a little bit short. Not that that's a, that important. But the main thing is uh, about swedge fittings is that they do crack, but they will only crack at the, but when the wire is worn out, at the end of the wire's useful lifespan. And even though a mechanical fitting won't crack, if the wire has reached its, the end of its life, the rigging still needs to be replaced anyway. So, swedge fittings are the way to go, unless you're doing it yourself, in which case, mechanical fittings are great. Thanks for watching.